For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. Now you will read verse 2. Let's go now. When he had agreed with the laborers for a dinerous a day, he sent them into his vineyard. I read verse 3. And he went out about the third hour and saw others. Well, he must have that. Standing idle in the marketplace. Now you take verse 4. You also go into the vineyard. And whatever is right, I will give you. So they went. Now I read verse 5. Again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour. And did likewise. Now you read verse 6. Let's go. And about the eleventh hour. He went out and found others standing idle. And said to them. Why have you been standing here idle all day? Now I read verse 7. Then said to him, Because no one hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and whatever is right, you will receive. Now you read verse 8. So when evening had come, the owner of the vineyard said to his stewards, Call the laborers and give them their wages, beginning with the last to the first. I read verse 9. And when those came who were hired about the eleventh hour, they each received a generous. Now you read verse 10. But when the first came, they supposed that they would receive more. And they likewise received each a generous. Uh -uh. 11. And when they had received it, they complained against the landowner. Now you read verse 12. Where is verse 12? Let's go. Saying, These last men have worked only one hour. And you have made them equal to us who have borne the body and the heat of the day. Verse 13. I read verse 13. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I am doing you, sorry, I'm doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a generous? Then you read verse 14. Let's go. Take what is yours and go your way. I wish to do to give to this last man the same as to you. Hmm. Now look up. Okay, is it not lawful for me to do what I wish with my own things? Or is your eye evil because I am good? That's what God is. So. God is a good God. And when he decides to come for you, I said it during the prayer and fasting uh, this week, when he decides to come for you, he will come in such a way that there will not be a sign that you have experienced delay before. That's God. That's your way. Because you may not understand. Look up, look up. To understand this scripture, hear me. Unless you understand labor language. Now, if you, in labor language, go to junctions. You see that laborers, early in the morning, before seven, they are at the junction. They call it the place, labor market. Anywhere they gather. People will now come. If you labor meji. They will come and begin to pick. Now, normally, those laborers will not leave there. Those that are left until 9. To them, in our present day, they believe that from 9 o'clock, or join it long. So by 9, they will have gone. But these ones remain standing. Show me verse 6 and 7 before you sit down. Verse 6 and 7. They remain standing till 11 a.m. And end of the day work is 12 o'clock in their own time. In Nigeria, it's 4 o'clock. To back by labor by 4. So if we bring it to Nigerian time, they were still standing till 3 p.m. People, I believe people around will be asking them, What are you waiting for? 3 o'clock. You are experiencing delay in one aspect of your life or the other. Before the end of this year, the God that I serve, that you serve, will visit you with a miracle that will erase the record of delay in your life. In the name of Jesus! He will show up for you. I say God will show up for you. You know, I had one son when I was going to chase my wife in those days, you know, going to their her brother's place to go and check her. No, mama, yeah. Hey, sister, yeah, you see, you know, I use that language. It was chasing, laughing. 
Okay, I'm a girlfriend. I'm a girlfriend. I'm a I, I brother used to play one song. I can't remember the name of that musician. You know, there are some ble- level of blessing that comes that there won't be a record that you have suffered before. Listen, God has sent me to you today. That's why I said I should come and tell you that the 11th hour miracle God is on top of your matter. That God will show up for you in the name of Jesus. Sit down. Verse 6 and verse 7, I want you to show me. This God showed up for this man at 11 o'clock. Ah, one hour to the closure of the day. In our own terms, 3 o'clock, he came to look for a job. And funny enough, he now gave them what the people that have been working since 7 a.m., the same result. Was what? The same thing. So, those that have gone far ahead, see, listen, don't bother about those that have gone far ahead. What do you think they will be feeling? Now, put yourself in their shoes. How do you think they will feel? They will come, they will pick people, they will go, they left them. They were there when the first set left. They were there when the second set left. They were there when the third set left. They were even there when the fourth set left. Now, and they we're just standing one hour to the end of the day. Somebody will have gone back. You know what God told me to teach you this month? He wants me to teach you from this. Look at this. And about the 11th hour, he went out and found others. He found them. They would have gone home. People would have told them to go home. But these people didn't go home. The reason why they could enjoy the miracle of God that made it look as if they never suffered before is because they were still found waiting. That's why I am I'm told, instructed by God to work on your faith this month. Because can I tell you this truth? There are some level of miracles God cannot perform in your life until you have faith. If you don't have faith, I'm saying it again, there are some level of miracles God cannot perform. Do you know why? It's not that he doesn't have power to perform it, but he does not work without power you following his principles he found them and the bible says he now asked them wow man are you still standing they said nobody came for us now let's start by saying what is faith let's start with that what is faith yeah Henry, open your eyes this is not the time for that what is faith now our church is a school I can decide to say, okay, let's turn it to prayer meeting. Come on, Badua, come on, come on, Lagun, come on, Badua, come on, Keko. Eko deni, unungbe yon dide. Are you getting what I'm saying? Life is sitting on principles, not just on miracles. There are principles that make miracles happen. So what is faith? Faith is trusting in God based on his promise. Now, faith is not that, not just, it's not just that you are saying, God can do it. Allah on the no, no, no. Faith is trusting in God based on his promise. Now, which means that anyone that, is, that has faith must have had a promise. If you have not had a promise, don't deceive yourself. Everyone that must have faith sits on something. Your, your, your faith must stand on a promise from God. Now, and when we talk about promises from God, I'm not talking about until somebody comes to you or you begin to hear one voice. Ah, Ezekiel, I will give you a car before 34. No, no, no. I'm talking about you reading your Bible, hear me? And based on the truth you see in Bible, you hold on it. Ah, uh-uh, ah, uh-uh, ah, ah, I trust that. If God did this one and he said anyone that is his child will enjoy this, which means I will enjoy this. That's what faith is. Faith is trusting in God based on his promise. I wrote here, to trust God because of his promise. Holding on to the promise of God is what we call faith. It could either be a written or a revealed promise. Now when I say written, this is the Bible. When I say revealed, this is the one that is spoken to you. Personally, maybe you see in vision, you see in dreams, or you hear a prophecy. 
So the promise of God could be either written or revealed. Am I communicating? So every time you are holding on it, you are holding on Aluluas of Mise, Aluluas of Mise, and Nise or Rolon Sopese, and your Rolon Sopese, and your Rolon or Rolon Sopese. You know, there's one scripture that I read that touched me. He said, The young lion may go hungry. He said, But they that trust in the Lord, Kaya, when I read that scripture, he said, No good thing shall he be told from them. Now, and if you begin to look at the good things of life, which means that if you trust God, you will have access to every good thing of life. See, I hear. Faith is trusting God based on his promise. Now, faith is not trusting God based on man's promise. So, man said he will give me money. Man says he will give me car. No, no, no. Lord, what are you saying? And what is the Bible saying? The Bible is saying, let the multitude, uh, uh, it says, uh, when more multitude are saying there's a casting down for them, then you will arise and say there's a lifting. Which means when others are falling, you are going to go higher. That's what faith is. And one of the reasons why a lot of children of God don't have faith is because they don't study the promise anymore. Faith is not, sorry, faith is not standing upon nothing. The faith that stands upon the promise of God can, will produce result. The faith that stands upon the promise of God shall produce result. People that enjoy the miraculous in the Bible, go see the scriptures. You will see that they enjoy testimonies because they held upon the promise of God. So every time you are reading the Bible, you are looking at something that God did for his children, believe it for yourself. You are looking at something God did for his children, believe it for yourself. You are looking at something God did for his children, believe it for yourself. We never thought we would have a child. You know, first three years of our marriage, we, there was no child in our house. We didn't have a child. People said all sorts of things. But I kept reading scriptures. The Bible says, and God blessed them and commanded them, be fruitful. And because of that, I kept trusting God. And he said, I will have children. I will have children. I will have children. Don't let anything make your faith shake. Because one thing I want you to know is that faith will face challenges too. And you know why faith will face challenges? The devil wants to see your assurance. He wants to know how sure you are that you trust the promise of God. See, I hear. You didn't hear me. You can do better. Shout it aloud. One more time. Listen. The faith that hang on the promise of God is the faith that will produce results. Now, those men that were standing, I believe they must have been standing because they had something. That's why faith is important. Understand faith. Go to the scriptures, get a promise, believe God for it. This is what the scripture says. This is what the Bible says. I remember those years when I wanted to get married. I didn't have money to get married. It was one of my uncle. He's a reverend. In a, in a, I think it was in a, he's still in assembly. So he has, okay, he has retired now. He retired just of recent. He, he came to visit me at Tibadon. And he was saying, ah, 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 the young pastor of our family. Why are you not married? I said, uncle, no money. That. Because he happens to be the brother, uh, my, my mom's uh, junior brother. Uncle, no money. He said, no money care. You don't need money to get married. Ah, I said, what do I now need? He said, open your Bible. We now open the Bible. He said, I should read. He said, Matthew 25, I can't remember that scripture again. It's a prayer, 21 years ago. He said, and a king organized a wedding ceremony for his son. He said, stop. Matthew what? Be bold about it. If you know the scripture, be bold. Don't be shy. Even if you make a mistake, I'll correct you. Now, and he said, and the king organized a wedding for, banquet for his son. He said, stop. He said, who are you? I said, I'm God's son. Who is your father? He said, the king of, I said, the king of kings. He said, go and tell him that you want to get married. So I started praying. We are, Matthew 22 from verse 1. And I started praying, Lord, I am your son. I want to get married. Lord. That was how help began to come from he started coming from left and right. Left and right. Left. Is that marriage not 21 years now? 
everything standing in front of you as a challenge I say in the name of Jesus they will fall before you Amen. so if somebody asks you what is faith faith is trusting in God based on his promise question number two I only take three questions answer them and we close for today's service question number two why do we need faith why do we need faith Kilo de Tashini Louis Bagbo. Hebrews 11, verse 6. Sure scripture. Why do we need faith? Yagadaba Sata Yangadaba. Why do we need faith? Pastor, can God not do miracle without faith? Why do we need faith? Pastor, is faith very necessary? Why do we need faith? Now look at this. Let's read together after the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's go. But without faith, it is impossible. To please him. Wait. Now, listen. If a husband and wife live together and the wife doesn't please the husband, what do you think will happen to that marriage? Eh? I didn't hear you now. It will collapse. Now, if the wife is pleasing the husband so well, what do you think the husband will do? I'm talking, I want husband to answer. It's only Pastor Emma that is here. Maybe you are married. This one is about to marry. You are married. You are married. If the wife is pleased saying his her husband every time, what will he do? You love her the more. He will be happy. He will go extra mile to do even what the wife needs. Now listen to this scripture. Let's come back to it. Thank you, Pastor Emo. He says, all of you answered rightly. He said, but without faith, where is the scripture now? But without faith, it is impossible. Which means there is nothing you can do that will make God happy if you don't have faith. If you don't have faith, there is nothing you can do to win the attention of God. I always tell my children, anytime we are at home, see, if you make us happy, we your parents, we know what to do. If you are happy, we, if you make us happy, and ah, in fact, what, what, you, I'll be thinking, what can we give to, what can we give to, ah, these children, are, this, are, are you getting what I'm saying? If you make us happy. The same thing, the only thing that can make God to be happy with you, and I will tell you why, is when you walk with him in faith. Do you know why? Listen. 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 If you don't have faith, there are some instructions God will give you, you will not be able to carry it out. I will show you two from Bible, and I'll share four from experience. In John chapter 2, at the wedding banquet, ah, uh, what do you call party people? I wanted to say call some a client or whatever. What do you call party people? Uh, the guests were in the party and it was a wedding banquet everybody was eating wine finished it's not like now that you have bottle drink once you finish drinking that one that's the end in their days they have jars you know and they will the servers will be going to pour wine into glasses cups for people once they are through they will move around again they will pour wine once they are through they will move around again they will pour wine once they are through while the guests were eating, they discovered that there was no wine. People were calling, where are wine? Where are wine? Where are wine? And everybody was saying, ha, ha, ha. Well, what do we do? And the mother of Jesus was in that party. She now heard that, wait, wine finished? Don't worry. Go and talk to my son. Wait, let me tell him. Son, they said wine is finished. I believe Jesus was say, mommy, we don't sell wine. <laughs> that thing you did at home. When our palm oil got finished, come and do it for them. Now, and the mother went back to tell those people, see, I've convinced my son. That's why mothers are powerful. Ah, when my mother was alive, if she wants to tell me to do something, she could lie. That there's, she got a dream. Mothers don't call those things lie. Oh, people go and call me. And ah, oh my ye, oh my ye. Timbade ni kuma loko ni down. Only ni amokwe, amoke, eh, Wow, mama, lala. 
So the mother quickly told him, anything he tells you to do. Now look at faith. They now came, sir. I don't know, we need wine. The Bible says Jesus looked at the kegs, the jars of empty what, uh, 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 containers. He said, you know what? Go and fill all those things with container. With water, sorry. Now, when I checked from the N NLT or so version, it says each of those containers is about 25 liters. And they have about eight or six there. Go and fill them with water. Now, imagine if they didn't have faith, what were they looking for? Answer me. What were they looking for? What did he say they should go and look for? That's where they will say, ah, Kilo, thank you, sir. Kilo Shemai. Answer or Miro Puri, Pesa. That's why the scripture is saying, if you don't have faith, you can't please God. It's not possible to please Him. Because what He will be telling you to do that will lead to your miracles looks foolish. But you just have to believe Him to enjoy it. That one that He told them, go and fetch water, was not even difficult. They went to fetch water. They fill everything with water. At least, normally, you expect that He should come and pray. Father! As they finished filling it with water that they themselves fetched, he said, go and serve it. But because they have that understanding, you can't please God without faith. Because the things he will be telling you to do does not show any wisdom at all. Imagine you are trusting God for a job, he's telling you to sow a seed. Imagine you are trusting God for marriage, he's telling you to dance. I went to preach in a church. I was so finished last week. I went to preach in a church many years ago. And I remember that one day I was trekking in our struggling days. I went to look for a senator's wife at Bodo from Liberty. There was no food to eat at home. So I trekked from here to Bodo, Opera Village side. I got to the senator's wife's office. They said she had gone. So I was now trekking back again to Liberty. When I got to Orita, Ah, after a day, is it a day Juma or you do a day go K? After that, they go to shopping complex. I was moving towards, towards, you know, and I saw somebody said, Pastor. And I turned. It was my pastor friend, Pastor Dapokale Jai. Ah, what happened? He said, Pastor, please come, come. He, draw, he invited, we entered a woman's shop. And as I entered, the young woman, I didn't know she was young, she looked old, brought a very cold bottle of coke. Pastor, one day invited me to minister and church one year. I let join. What is of me telling? Oh, my pastor, a job, the bunny brother and the fellowship way, two team marry, sister, I go marry, monitor, and your team marry, only sister, I go marry. Who does she say? So for me, Lenny, pay, follow me, but down low, low, she, oh, my fair lady. Ah, sister, I'm coming to your church this night. Make sure you are that vigil. You know what touched me? That bottle of coke. The pastor was not the one that told her. She only saw me coming out from the sun into her shop. I believe something must have told her. Place it in her heart. Give that seed. Then I got to their church that night. It was a crusade, uh, a vision, sorry. And I said, the title of my message tonight is you will marry. I forgot that the sister was not the only person in the church. I removed my wedding ring. I said, sister, come. I put it, put it in your hand. Lift up your hands. And we started praying. Father, said to her before the end of this year. It was October. You know, when faith gets to a point, you don't even count dates. It may come to Moti Sorotongo before he remembers that end of the year remains just two months. And she's a member of Redeem. It was a Redeem church that I went to minister that night. Not knowing the following month, a Redeem Christian bro church brother had a covenant with God that he must marry that year. 
a medical doctor. They, I don't know, they said she, he came for a program in the but I don't know how he met the lady and told the lady, sister, I love you. But God said, I must marry this year. They married in December. Say Coke. Can you see why you need faith? Because God will tell you foolish things that lead to your miracles. But if you don't have faith, you can't obey. So he told them, go and serve the water. Not to the people, he said to the chairman. He will say, ah, sir, you will have told us to drink it first. Tell us to drink first. Let's test it before we serve it. Touch mommy Henry for me. You will have told us to drink it first. They now carried the wine, the water, sorry, and took it straight to the chairman. The chairman too drank and summoned. I have something to say. Ah, everybody will say, ah, well, I day. I want to make me more. I have something to say. Everybody look up. I have something to say. Everybody look up. I believe that day they will have killed Jesus. If the thing didn't become wine. And the man said, I tasted this to now. Every party we have attended, the best wine has always been brought first. Then when people are filled, they bring the ordinary one. But in this particular party, you reserve the best wine for the last. Then everybody started looking. Thank God that Mary told us to obey. Why do you need faith? Because you can't enjoy miracles without it. You can't enjoy miracles. I say again, you can't enjoy miracles without it. Another one that looks like it. A man had been at the side of the pool 38 years. Had been crippled for 38 years. Jesus met him and did not pray for him. Jesus now met him and said to the man, pick up your mat. Go home. The man will have said, sir, are you blind? Can't you see my leg? You didn't hear me. We see, ah, le bolo on ita bani bago. To ba ja kenti oju oju physical way way. To only ni kola ni ah le bolo ni. If everything about our life is judged by sight, you can't walk with God and enjoy Him. You can't please Him. God that we see you, that you have a problem, he will tell you to be dancing. Sir, what am I dancing about? That's what some natural person will ask. Sir, what do you, you say I should be dancing? Dancing over what? Can't you see all that is around me? And you say I should be dancing. Dancing over what, Lord? And thank God for that man. The man had faith. As Jesus said to him, young man, pick up your mat. Rise up and go home. He made an attempt and he saw that he could stand. And eventually he picked that mat. Why do we need faith? You can't work with God if you don't have it. Let me share one more testimony with you. It's funny, but it's the truth. Many years ago, somebody gave me some money. The pastor, keep this money for me. I said, when will you need this money? He said, no, I will let you know ahead before I need it. We use the, work, the money for ministry. I'm talking about story of a year 2000, 2001. 30,000. 2001, 30,000 now is like 300,000 now. The person just came one morning. I was praying on the altar in our church, that place. And the person was telling the person in the church that, ah, move will consult our pastor. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I pastor. In fact, I need to win, bye, bye, bye. I will cook in Paris, I will cook in Paris. Mokagbogo Psalm 136. Any old law. Mokawa 19. Longest scripture in this. Any old law. Ha. Mokbadua, Badua, Badua, could say, Twasa Dua, Timovek Bama. Any old law. Pushan Sophia, Muve Contiti, she don't. Nobody did it, she don't. Muve, Muve Louis, and Insane, Muni, and to so we'll pull my jacking more. Neo, Batum Bama Lo, my one for me time. Ah. Because 
Holy Spirit, what do I do? He said, I provided the money. Stand up now. Go and pray for Mrs. Senator, Mrs. Lupita. As I finished praying, I stood up. Ah, Papa, I teach you some money, Ben. Eh, me, I'm going to go to the house. 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 As I got to Senator Olupiton's wife's place, my father, I've been looking for you. You know, it was not a GS, that 2001, and GSM. I bought my own first SIM, 12,000. But I get 2002, come I know me, I'll tell you, i We got married in 2002. I'll tell like in 2004, 2006, he said, I've been looking for you, my father. I said, yes, my hope nothing. Let's get to Wema Bank together. We got to Wema Bank. She collected 40,000 and gave me. I said, what is this for? My father, I just felt like giving you to support your ministry. Ma, ma, God we, God we meet you. God we God we meet you. God we God we bless you. God we meet 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 you. God at um God we meet you. God we meet you. God we meet you. God we God we meet you. So we got to the bakery. He said, my father, what would you like to eat? I said, I'm okay. Uh, my driver will go and drop you. She said, my driver, she didn't drop me. And he had to joke with him. One hour to pay. With a rack of 30,000. With a giddy low. God is faithful to those that trust in him. That's why you see what the devil is always doing. The devil wants to throw things at you to kill the only thing that can make you please God. And what is that? Your faith. Don't let your faith die. Anytime you are walking in unbelief, you are displeasing God. And what you, bad boy, to displease. What is the meaning of displeasing Yoruba? Talk about you, badada. Displease. Give me two more. Do we have uh, Hebrews eleven ten? You know about Bible here. Eleven six. Sorry, Hebrews eleven six. Eban, can you back? Shagada baskendele. We don't have all the time. I'm waiting. I will share one more testimony. Hebrews nineteen wa Hebrew. May the Lord heal your eyes. Hebrews 11, 6. Yoruba, yeah? Oh, yeah, Eka. Hey, brother, I must remember you, but I can't get in there, huh? Only? Shubola is sick, bad boy. Ah, only ko she, she, lati, wu. Wow, I love that. Which means get to ba ni gbagbo o le wu olorun Like my son Ori Olabi always say daddy daddy I'll say eh? amala amala o wu mi je I say why you say amala amala o wu mi je I say okay to hungry for something to ba ni nkan wu eyan eni ti o ba ni gbagbo iru won won ki wu olorun Which means God doesn't like them God doesn't look towards them. Can you see now why the devil is fighting your faith? By making people to say the things that will make you down. 
by making people to show the reaction that will make you discouraged. Tell three people around you, I will no longer allow discouragement from now. Because if you look at that scripture, without faith it is impossible to please God. With faith, in God. Which means, Tabato son yoba, and it's yoba need, Bagbo, iru won, oman wolon. Like if somebody has been a pastor, Moto wolo wui, Highlander ni, Toyota Highlander. Ah, o wumi vaje. You know, yao mini mulai class era, Toyota Rafof, wine color. Anytime I see women in that car, I used to think of my wife, that ah, With faith. Now, look at this testimony again. I've shared it with you here before. We used to have somebody in our church. They have relocated. They were trusting God for fruit of the womb. And uh, the woman saw blood. Oh, they're here, big time. Because in your call, you see, and here they're and he said, Oh, they're looking for mommy, said, Oh, wow. Hello, the low uniform mom said, Da! Only can you have a crew. The next thing to my wife, a jay. Who the best in here? Who you should meet? A jay come best in here. More than more, I were at here. Do I tag back? Go to the only and I knew how much we fasted before she could be pregnant. Then she rushed to, she rushed to my house. First of but I just had Jeremiah chapter 1 before you were formed in your mother's womb I knew it I said the blood you saw is, I don't think it's the baby he says sir I said God said before the children form in their mother's womb God himself knows them he knows he, he knew Jeremiah that this baby God is saying is excess blood. You have too much blood. He said, what do I do? I said, don't go to the hospital. If you go to the hospital, medical science will say the next thing is evacuation. He said, then what do I do? I said, wait. Wait for three months. Then we take steps. She obeyed. After three months, she came back. I said, now go for, to the hospital. There was no sign that she was still pregnant. But when she got to the hospital, they confirmed that she was five months pregnant. I saw that boy at a label market. That, the, the, that baby, this year, the boy very tall. And the mother said, Pastor, Pastor me, Pastor me, ah, kill him, one level, one level, I won't be seen. Only, eh, tia, baby, your money. Money, tan, money, Clement, Onda. Hulu, Lulu, like the E, Ubi Gastan, tall boy, hey. Do you know that if we didn't have faith, we would have aborted what God wanted to do? So every single time you refuse to have faith, you are aborting what God wants to do in your life. And God is not happy that you are destroying his own work in your life. There's no time I will have told you more. Oh God. Let's stop here. Shagada Baskenele say. Hmm. So it is faith that makes us please God. It is faith that makes us do the things eh, that attract the attention of God to us. It's faith. Imagine a woman does not have food at home. The only one she has, she was preparing it. And she told her son, This is the only food. Though. After this food, let us prepare to die by hunger and the bible says a servant of god came in and the servant of god said please can you give me water to drink she said okay sir i'm going and the servant of god said man of god a uh, woman a uh, woman as you are going to bring water for me please make me a morsel of bread ah he says sir i told you that the food we have at home is for me and my son which after we eat and die he said as you are going to prepare for your son prepare for me too she didn't argue faith as she was going the man of god said 
Your flower pot will never run dry. And the Bible says it was so. You know the problem of today's Christian? Lack of faith. We are too wise. Now, and we are too wise in the natural. That's why when God makes a promise, we can't hold on to it. The computer age has made you too wise. We know how to goggle every medical condition. Symptoms, yes. Symptoms. I'll be past doctor, uh, uh, Pastor Kondo, any uh, old born again church, you are Luban Guba, we two man cats, Tokuba, oh, Pastor Egba, oh, King Lord Joe, me, I do the symptom of sickness, si- sickness and their signs. Moabes, Nika, you know, I read a lot. Ah, I read one symptom of HIV and AIDS, I had it. Be motion can one symptom and one is on here, who then shall see me. I had this, I read the symptom of cancer, I had it. I, you know, I was just, ah, it got to a point, I now started asking myself, how many sickness do I have? Yes, I discovered that all those sicknesses have almost the same symptom. At first, I started with Osa, Osa and Imotikoko Bereo, Mubatun Kalo, Jekin Tukachi, Tumor of the Liver. Who have had your people for me? Instead of you to destroy me, I will destroy you. Rise up on your feet. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Be on your feet. Build your faith. Build your faith. Do you know one funny thing about faith? You can't use your faith to help your wife. I will tell you more on that next week. The Bible says the just shall be saved by his own faith. If you thought of faith, you want in hell. Your pastor's faith cannot help you. That's why a lot of prayers have been prayed in church. Only few people have testimonies. Look at what Jesus our Lord said to that uh, uh, woman with the issue of blood. He said, woman, your faith, not my anointing, your faith has made you. So next week I'll be telling you that, more on that, how to develop your own personal faith. You are going to ask for mercy. Look up. Look up. For every miracle process of God that you have destroyed. Because every time you allowed doubt, you destroyed the process of a miracle. What thought of one? Kyo luwa bukmon tu nse, eto la, eto yano tu nans, tu nse ni noa ye, mi ti mo mfi a ik bagbo, mi badje. Luwa jyo dari chile. Shall we begin to pray right now before we close? Shagada Baba Basse, Yemiju Ashe, Yulu Yemiju Ashe, Yulu Shagada Basse. Ask for his mercy, Lord. Even me as a pastor, I pray, forgive me for destroying the miracle process, the process of the miracles. Because the Bible says it is impossible to please you without faith. And every time we displease you, we terminate what you are doing in our lives. Lord, I'm sorry. Ask God for mercy. in Jesus name of prayer say number two say Lord now I open myself up carry out your work in my life I, I agree to cooperate by faith from today shall we begin to pray 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 
Basata yagada basi. Lengere boso. Shagada basata yagada skene. Yagada basoto yengere basi. Lengere boso. Shagada basana yada se. In Jesus' name, we are praying. 